Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you. I'm so glad you could join me for yet another plan with me and my mega happy planner. Really glad you could make it and spend some time with me today. I really appreciate all the kindness and support I received over the past couple of days for my content. So if you're one of those beautiful souls who left me a comment, left me a like, subscribed in the last couple of weeks, thank you you so much it really does mean a lot to me that you think so highly of my content and you want to support it um, so a big thank you thank you thank you also I just want to mention that I don't monetize my videos so I don't think ads play on my videos I'm not sure if this is true or not but let me know if you see ads when you play my videos because I hope that YouTube doesn't put ads on my content because I don't monetize my videos so I didn't I didn't think that I would have ads so today Today I'm going to be decorating the current week in my journaling spread and I use a horizontal happy planner for that planner. So if you're interested in seeing how I decorate my journaling planner, just keep on watching. So this is my mega happy planner, my second mega happy planner, Miss Cassiopeia. She has a bunch of my more journaling type planners in her as opposed to more traditional planners. So one of the planners that I have in here that isn't necessarily a planner, it's more of a journal, more of a diary, is my journaling planner. So I use a horizontal happy planner for my journaling planner. Um, this one is the pressed florals horizontal happy planner. And I just have one a month in here currently because I don't need to carry around all the other months. But I like to separate my different planner sections with scrapbook paper. And I use double-sided adhesive to tape the, um, the calendar page to the scrapbook paper. So you just have um, the July overview um, showing in this case. And it is a little bit random because since July is usually the first month that a planner starts on in the Happy Planner system, I'm always going to have the July overview here. So I tend to just decorate my overviews and not really use them functionally because that way I can just have them here and have them look cute. So I already took out most of the weeks out of my journal and put it back into the planner it came from, but I still have the last week, or yeah, last week, I still have last week in this planner because I'm still working on this planner. So that's why I have, I still have the this page from two weeks ago in here, but this was last week. I did a, a Mulan spread and I did not work in it at all because I was backpacking mostly throughout this week. And so I just didn't have my planner with me. I still intend to fill out this spread though. And that's something I just really want to emphasize is that you don't have to fill out the week, um, the week spread, the week that you made that spread, particularly if you're using it in alternative ways as opposed to traditional planner ways. Like this is my journal. I don't need to fill it out the week of i can always fill it out the week after two weeks after three weeks after a month after for me i try to fill it out within like a month's time because at that point i just kind of want to move on from the spread but um i have no problem filling up space i can always continue to decorate i can use brush lettering and write beautiful quotes on it and just you know play around with it so i don't have to write you know fill out every single line um with like small writing i can always just play around and experiment and fill up these pages i'm also thinking about um writing poetry like brush lettering poetry in these journaling pages so that's something that i've been thinking about doing lately but um that was the last week in august we have the september overview the september divider the september calendar view and then this is the current week here and it's currently tuesday the last day of august and i'm gonna go ahead and decorate this spread and i have with me some princess jasmine stickers and the jungle vibes sticker book from the happy planner as well as a bunch of washi tape so we're just gonna get into this and i'm hoping to 
be a little bit more decorative in the spread, leave less room for writing because I know that I still want to write in this past week that I wasn't able to get to. So I just kind of want to give myself a little bit more decoration for this week so that way it's just easier to fill up the, the pages because I do like filling up the pages and seeing it all full. So I'm just gonna make it easy on myself. So we're gonna go ahead and grab Miss Jasmine here. She is gorgeous. I think she looks stunning. And I'm gonna try to put her down as straight as possible because I put Mulan down pretty crookedly um, in my last plan with me. And I just feel like <laughs> she looks so tilted. So I'm just gonna grab this Jasmine sticker here and put her down okay and then i'm gonna grab some of these little uh sparkles and then this quote that says dare to begin i'll put that up here and then i'll also grab this quote that says courage is golden and also put that maybe Maybe here, courage is golden. So then we just have this sticker there and this one's gorgeous. It makes me really want to like illustrate my own princesses because it's not too hard to draw and color in this style. Um, yeah, so I kind of want to draw my own princesses, but that's a topic for another video. So I think that's it that I'm gonna do from that sticker page. I'm gonna grab my Jungle Vibes sticker book and I'm just gonna add some decoration. I don't think I'll add quotes or boxes or anything like that. I'm looking more for just decorative stickers, um, washi. So let's flip through this and see what I can grab. Yeah, I think I'm gonna grab for some of these um, leopard print stickers. Put that down there. Let's grab another one of these and put this maybe here. Yeah, I'll just kind of mirror this one over here. I'll grab another one of these and put it up here. And then I'm gonna grab, uh, let's see. I'll grab one of these cheetah stickers. These are so cute. I'll put that one there. And then let's see. And then I'm gonna grab the zebra sticker and also place that down somewhere. Put that here. And then I'm just gonna grab some of these plant decorative stickers, plant decor, and place that here in this corner. And then I'll grab another one and find a spot for that one as well. Put that there. Let's see if there's anything else I want to add in here. Maybe some of these plant stickers. And then I'll grab some of these like graphic type stickers, place them around the jasmine. These are really cute. These are good ideas for like, if you just want to quickly grab uh, like a marker or a pen and um, draw some of these designs here. Like you don't need to have these as stickers. They're just really easy to draw just with markers and pens. So I'm gonna remember this style for um, future times. Okay, and I think I'm gonna call it good. I really like how it turned out. 
I think it's adorable. I love the mix of Jasmine and the Jungle vibes. I, I love it. So thanks for stopping by and joining me for this Disney Princess Jungle Vibes journaling plan with me. I'm really excited to get into this. And this is definitely going to be really, really easy for me to fill out because there's just not that much space left to write, <laughs> which is great because I need to write which is great because I still want to fill out my previous Mulan spread and I have a lot more space in this one. So I'm just gonna fill out this one and then also spill over onto this uh, planner spread and I think it looks adorable. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. All right, so thank you so much once again for joining me for this plan with me and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.